right, welcome back guys. My name is Eric. This is Melissa Gaming and today we're going to do a little kind of modding tip. I guess we're going to we're going to play it by ear and see how it goes anyway. Anyway, so what um, we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to make some emblems for Battletech. That's the goal. So maybe you've already modded your game. Uh, you know, for instance, I'm running Battletech Advanced 3062 at the moment. So if we go into my Battletech directory here, eventually Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Battletech, and Mods, you'll see there's a lot of crap here. Um, but maybe that's not enough for you. Maybe you've got everything just the way you like, but you don't have that custom logo that you want. Maybe maybe you're like me and you you stream or, or you YouTube and you have a, a logo that you'd like to use. Maybe, maybe you're a Marine. Right, Semper Fi. Maybe you want a little USMC symbol in there. Whatever it may be, you can do it. Maybe you got a favorite sports team. Now, in this case, with these mods, what we have is we're actually going to have a directory up here called. Um, in this one, it's all 3025 mechs, and you will see that there's a bunch of mechs here. So these are these are logos that they've created that they've added in, with the exception of the Bomber Baron and the First Satcom Battalion, because those are ones I created and added in. Um, but they could. You, it may be called something else. And if we take a look here, this is the JSON that we use for that. So if we open that up, you can see here that all it does is it um, takes all of these and it will it adds them, addendum, um, this directory. That's it. So uh, it adds these emblems to texture 2D and to sprites. That's it. Easy enough. Now, if you don't want to have to mess with this, maybe your game isn't modded at all and uh, you don't really want to do too much, you can go back to Battletech here. So Steam Apps Common Battletech. And under Battletech Data and Streaming Assets, there are emblems here. And you can go to Player. And what you can do is you can pick one of these and save your new emblem under this name, and it will still work. So maybe um, uh, there's one in here I really dislike that I used last time. Um, I can't find it, but. You could overwrite this one. Just make sure you give it the same name. I haven't really looked too deep into how it uses it. I have just tried to add new stuff in. It's possible you could just add another number on here and it would work. Um, but I would just overwrite one of these. Make a copy of it. And we'll try both ways today. So here, we'll go ahead and copy this. And then we'll just repaste it. So we've got a backup copy of this one right here. So we'll be able to overwrite this if we want. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a special tool here from NVIDIA. This allows you to open and save this type of file, which is a .dds file. It's not a doctor of dentistry. It is a, um, it is a type of essentially texture map type of file that's used. So you can see here, DDS exports. This one is for Photoshop. However, they also do that for GIMP. So you can do this just as well with GIMP for free. Uh, this tool costs you nothing. Essentially, you just download it, run it, it's going to ask where your default installation is. It automatically found mine. I just hit go. So once that's done, we can come here and we're going to mess with this one right here. And we are going to open it and it should automatically open with Photoshop. We're going to load using default sizes. This is this that plugin. This is one of those things that adds. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these are going to be upside down. The next thing we're going to need, I've got a save that we just started today in my Twitch stream. Um, we're calling the Apple Dumpling Gang. They're all bad pilots in light mechs, and we're going to see how long they stay alive. <laughs> it's not hopeful, but we survived today. So we need to find a quick search here. We're going to go Apple. If we look for Apple icon, it's going to pull up 8 billion icons for Apple computers. Let's logo. We'll do this. We'll see what we can find. I don't really want this Apple, um, for obvious reasons. Um, a, I don't like Apple, the company. I think they're, I think they're bad. I think they're bad people, or at least run poorly. Um, so that's going to be a problem. We're going to want something here. Maybe let's do Apple Vector. We could do something like this, just like a green apple like that. I mean, it is similar to that. Um, free vector art, stock graphics and images. Okay. Um, 
Ecteezy, I'm going to take you at your word for that. And we're going to go ahead and save this image for the moment. Now, be very careful if you do this, especially if you're doing this for money, right? Don't, don't take random graphics from somewhere. Here, let's, let's look and see if it gives us any copyright information. Oh, that's expensive. It's not expensive. I take that. Two downloads for $9 actually not bad at all, but we won't steal their graphic because they are charging us money for it. Um, Apple line drawing, what does that get us? Apple tree. All right, this is what we're doing. We're making our own. We're doing it live, guys. We are gonna make our own. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. That's gonna unlock that layer. Um, I'm going to add another layer underneath here. We don't necessarily need to. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to delete all of this. Um, if we're on the right layer. Delete. There we go. Now we are free to make our very own little logo of some sort. So I'm going to start with. Um, let's zoom in here first. Let's get to where we can see what we're doing. Um, I'm going to make our brush a little bit bigger. That should be fine. I'm going to get us a nice, happy. Um, I'm gonna leave this on black front. Uh, I'm going. We'll we'll make it green. Here, how about that? Looks like a happy green. And now we're just gonna draw our apple. Oh, how? What's our opacity like? Our opacity is fine. Modes normal. Oh, this is where we're wrong. Hold on. Hold on. We can send that back in there. We're just not flipped on the right color. Control that. Now, here we go. Now we'll be fine. I don't do a lot of actual drawing on Photoshop. That's more of a heart. I'm going to do this. Oh, that's not terrible. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill in this little middle here. Oh, that's not good. Mistakes were made. Um, back to our brush here. Don't come here for professional um, art class stuff because that's not going to be good for you. Here, we'll do it this way. We need to make it big, first of all. God, this is a hideous apple. Hideous, hideous apple. All right, that's okay, though. Yeah, it's okay. Will survive. This isn't about the art. This is about the the process. I need to get my little touch drawing pad up and running, and then I'm going to go ahead and, uh, to here and make that a little bit bigger as well. We'll kind of shave this apple away a little bit here. There we go. And how about we go to some terrible brown color like uh, that? And we'll go back to our paintbrush and we'll give ourselves eventually the right color. We'll give ourselves a little, little stem there. Sure. Uh, we can deselect everything there. And then I'm going to go to effects here. I'm going to give myself a stroke. And we're going to find out all these weird problems. And I'm going to go ahead and fix those really fast. Just bits we didn't get the green filled in. That's pretty terrible. But then we may as well go ahead and give ourselves some more effects. I mean, why not, right? We could bevel and emboss this thing. Um, turn off the stroke and see what we get here. So, you know, there we go. That, that makes it 3D. I don't know that that's what we want, but it's possible. Um, actually, let's go to Select All, Filter, Stylize. That's hideous. That's hideous. I don't know. We're going with this. That's enough messing around. Deselect. That's our Apple. That's our logo. That's what we're going with. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this bottom one right here. We don't need it anymore. Um, yep. Now we're going to go. We've got to make one more crucial step. We select all. And now what we need to do is we need to rotate this. 
and we are just going to flip it vertical. Um, essentially, what happens is this can be put on. This is kind of the back, and so it needs to be upside down and over. And the easiest way to do that is just to flip it back. If we had text on here, um, we would see it written backwards right now. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to go file and we're going to save as um, DDS right there, DDS. And we want to, where's the, see, notice all these are upside down and backwards. See, would I lead you astray? Probably. Um, where's our double one? Somewhere in here we've got a copy. It was the weird little double. Oh, right there, it saved it. Okay, so let's just get rid of the copy here. Like that, we're gonna save. Yep. You want four BPP, one bit alpha. That's what we need. We need the alpha. The alpha is this right here. That's essentially saying um, the alpha. Oh, hold on. We might actually need to fix that. Channels, alpha, we do. <laughs> ah, yeah. All right. Let's fix that. We've already got our thing selected. Um, there's that. Select inverse. I almost forgot a major step here. All right, guys. So this is this is your alpha layer. And essentially what your alpha layer is, um, where's our paintbrush again? Let's go back to white. Um, fix that. Select inverse again, get back on the inside where we want this to be white. This alpha layer decides what shows through. Okay, so anything that's white is going to be shown. Anything that's black is going to be masked out. Now, in our case, the mask is nothing, right? We've got nothing behind there. It doesn't matter. Um, and I haven't experimented. It's possible we could get rid of this mask layer altogether, and we would be fine. Um, in fact, um, we can try that. So this is normally how it would be. This would be your mask. And you can see that exactly hits what we want, except our, our strokes can end up outside of that. We can live with that for now. I'm not worried about it. But the other option is, we could potentially just delete this. And it might still work. Let's give it a try. Let's experiment. Let's go ahead and delete this layer right here. We're going to delete our alpha lamp channel. Now, I think because we have this empty, right? There's nothing back here. This is see through, essentially. I think this is going to make this our alpha channel. If we had this as a black background, for instance, though, and we didn't want that, we would then need to make sure we mask properly. But let's just try this, because this is by far the easiest way to do it if this works. So let's go File, Save As. We're going to get rid of, we're going back to DDS. We're going to get rid of our copy here. Oops, dot, save. Yep. One bit plus alpha. Save. Now, in theory, we come in here, and somewhere in here, we should have a horrible apple. There it is, right there. And our copy got moved somewhere. There it is, right there. Copy's right next to us. So we can copy this back over if we want. Now, alternatively, we can copy this, and we can also move this into that mod folder, right? So if we come back here to Battletech, we go to Mods, we go back into here, all 3025 emblems. Um, and you can see there's a bunch of them here. So we can go ahead and paste this one in here too. And we are going to call this one, rename the Apple. We'll follow their, uh, their naming convention, appledumplinggame.dds. There we go. So we should see two of these. Now what we can do is we can open the game. We can fire it up. Now you do need to close the game and reload it. It only actually checks these files when it loads into the game. So you can't save back down to the main menu and then load back in. You have to back all the way out. Sorry, is what it is. Now we just have to wait for it to load because that's the fun bit. Now Mod Tech does its thing here in the background because we are heavily modded right now running Battletech Advanced 3062 at Bloody Doves. Um, check out his Twitch channel. He's just bloody doves on Twitch. Um, 
or swing by the stream here. He's here on a regular basis at uh, twitch.tv backslash mellow7game. So does career here. This is the one we're loading. You can see I've got my other two on some others there. The, the tree was the closest we could find on short notice to our apple, or we decided it was an apple tree. It wasn't the world tree, right? No Scandinavian mythology here. It was simply an apple tree. So we'll have to jump in here and see what we can do. We'll verify that all this works. We can come down here to Captain's Quarters. We can go to Customize Company. There's our apple dumpling gang. Now we should see two apples, one here in the top with this type of stuff. There it is. There's our apple. And one more down here in with, this was the stuff that was loaded with the 3025 Mercs. So we've got it in both places. We'll go with this one so I can change the other one back. And we save. So now we should see our Apple loco on the, on the screen there. We see it up here next to the Apple Dumpling Gang. If we go into the Mech Bay, we'll see it on the banner behind us. There's our banner there. If we go out to the Argo, you're going to see it run on the side of the Argo there. So it should pop up everywhere. And it can take this texture and stick it on whatever it wants to put it on. Um, and you can see we can even see our little outline there, although it doesn't show up against the black of space there. And that's it. That's all there is to making... Um, Making an emblem. Essentially, you need the DDS plugin from NVIDIA. You run that. It's going to add it to either your GIMP or your Photoshop install. You can then open one and save it. That's the easiest. Uh, I mean, you could create your own template from scratch if you really want to. But really, the, the important thing is, you know, just go ahead and make sure that, you know, you get rid of your background. When you start up and it's black, you just give yourself an extra layer, drag it below. Hit your delete on the little, um, or hit, get rid of the little lock, and then you can delete whatever you want. And you're good. And that's all there is to it. There's our apple for Apple Dumpling Gang. That's our emblem. That's my quick tutorial on creating DDS emblems for Battletech. Um, we'll see you guys maybe in the Twitch stream or in the YouTubes. Cheers.